Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today we have another promo for Kwame Buster. Now this promo, it's recorded on a phone from a TV, so it's not very high quality, but it does reveal a whole lot about the episode. So if you want to avoid like major plot related spoilers, the last one just had a couple things like, hey, we're seeing the mouse miraculous. But if you want to avoid those major plot points, like it's, hey, this is exactly kind of what's going on in the episode, then go ahead and click off now. Uh, or you could just watch it because I will play the clip for you here. Uh, but and then just skip my like talking about it because you might not get it and I get it. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to hop right into this analysis because there's a lot to talk about. But yeah, here's the clip. So like I said, very blurry, but we can still tell a few things and it took me a while to see some of these things that I'll talk about here. All right, so before I continue on with this video, uh, there has been an update. Uh, the, my curse of uh, getting things out super fast has come back to bite me again. So there has actually been a couple images released in high quality from this promo. Uh, I don't actually know of a high quality version of the full promo. I've just seen a couple images that have gone up literally like nine minutes ago. So uh, I'll just be showing those like clips in the video or at least those like photos in the video. So if there's a little discrepancy from me saying like, oh, it's pretty blurry or this or that, then that's because I didn't have those images at the time of recording the video. I just found them while I was editing the video so I can make those adjustments. So just wanted to put this out there. This happens quite a bit because I'm pretty quick about getting videos out. So uh, and if there is a full on like clip of the high quality like version of the promo, then you will also see that as well in here. That is if it's out before I'm done editing this video. So just wanted to put that out there that there will be a little bit of discrepancy from what I say simply because uh, I didn't have the high quality version so I couldn't tell exactly what was going on. So just wanted to put this in there. So this first bit is a shot of what just looks like the mouse miraculous with Marinette in that form. And when I first saw that, that's what I first saw. And then I noticed that, hey, she's actually wearing the pendant of the Fox miraculous as well. But there's no indication, like, uh, for example, in the San Diego Comic-Con, or some sort of Comic-Con, I can't remember what it was, they revealed that there was going to be, like, a multi-mouse plus fox, and that was basically just the Mouse Miraculous with possibly the Ladybug Miraculous, as well as the fox, and in that, all the places that were pink for this Mouse Miraculous, it turned orange to symbolize Rena Rouge's Miraculous, or well, I guess it wouldn't be Rena Rouge, it would be the Fox Miraculous. Now, in this case, we cannot see any orange whatsoever. We don't see any indication that she uh, has activated any other powers. We just see what looks like the Mouse Miraculous. So what this tells me is that you don't transform all the Miraculouses that you have at one point. You transform into one and then another and then another. Now, some of you guys may have just thought, yeah, that's obvious, but we didn't really know. So it, they could have just been like, hey, Kwame's transform me. And then it just turns into this ultimate being all at once. But no, this is actually really cool as well, because you can specify if you have multiple Miraculouses, like, for example, if you have Ladybug and then the mouse and then the fox, you could specify, hey, I only want the mouse and the ladybug miraculous and then i'll just leave the fox one out for later and then you could turn off the mouse and then turn on the rena rouges and then just you wouldn't interfere so you wouldn't have three miraculouses on or slash activated at once you would just have a couple at a time so that's pretty cool now another thing i noticed about this was the left hand now this could also be some other miraculous that just looks like that that she hasn't activated yet so I'm honestly not really sure what's going on here and what like uh, miraculouses she has activated, but also let me draw your attention to her neck. There seems to be something on her neck. Now this stays on her in all the shots that we see her in, and it just doesn't, to me that seems like it would be some sort of miraculous. And then we can also see her eyes. Now it's very hard to tell, but there's a very subtle change to where it looks like she's wearing glasses. So my guess is she's also wearing Pegasus's glasses here. And since she is wearing Pegasus's glasses, we can assume that she's also wearing that headband. We can see two little uh, things sticking out of her hair. Now there's no direct like confirmation that, hey, she is wearing a headband, but those two little white things might be her headband, or maybe her hair is just concealing it. We don't know for sure, uh, but my guess is she is wearing a headband. So that's insane. 
Now, if you watched my previous video on the high quality promo that we received a couple days ago, then you will know that I honestly didn't think that we would be seeing this almighty being with all the miraculouses. Now, obviously, this right here is confirming that we will be, but not exactly. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about the other clips because there's really only a couple, so I'll talk about all of them. Next, we can just see another shot of Kwame Buster. And then we see Cat Noir jumping. And then we see Kwame Buster's foot, like, opening up the door to the roof, because they seem to be on a roof. And then we see this shot of Ladybug and Marinette. Now, I'll talk about this here in a second. Let's just move on to the next clip. Here we see all the Kwamis again. Here we see Cat Noir jumping again for some reason. And then we see Ladybug slash, I guess it would be multi-mouse kind of, I, I don't know actually. But basically, we can see Ladybug with the Mouse Miraculous and Ladybug Miraculous and possibly the Reina Rouge Miraculous, but I'm not sure about that one. But basically, she's detransforming from the Mouse Miraculous and so she's just left with the Ladybug Miraculous. And then the final clip is Cat Noir and he's like, he looks very surprised. And my guess is that's his reaction to seeing Ladybug with all these other Miraculous. Now let's go back to that clip of Marinette and Ladybug, because you're probably thinking, wait, what's going on here? Now, when I first watched this, I didn't even notice this, to be honest with you. I just saw, oh, okay, so it's just Ladybug, that's all I saw. But then when I was going through it again, I saw Marinette, and I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Now, a lot of people have been speculating what the Multi-Mouse Miraculous does, and they've been saying, hey, that allows you to use multiple Miraculous, because especially since it's called Multi-Mouse, at least that's what it was in that, like, San Diego Comic-Con thing. I don't think it was San Diego Comic-Con, but during a Comic-Con, they called, or they had, like, a name underneath, like, the production art, and that said Multi-Mouse, and then Multi-Mouse plus Fox on another one. So we've just been calling uh, Ladybug and the Mouse Multi-Mouse. Anyway, people have been speculating that the Mouse Miraculous just basically allows you to carry multiple Miraculous. Now, I was always disagreeing with that. I didn't actually mention what I thought that the Mouse Miraculous did, because honestly, I didn't really have an idea. I mean, sure, the ability to carry multiple Miraculous makes sense, but honestly, I didn't think that's what it was. So my guess as to what the Mouse Miraculous' power is, is to create a duplicate or possibly multiple variations of yourself or possibly of other things slash people. So what Marinette did was create multiple copies or maybe in this case, just one copy of herself. Now let's move back to this one clip where we see Ladybug and the Mouse Miraculous. Now we can observe a couple things. One, we can see Rena Rouge. Two, we can see Multi Mouse. Three, we can see that one thing on her neck that looks white, but we can't really tell what it is. Four, we can maybe see a headband, sort of. We can't really tell if there's glasses. My guess is that she is wearing glasses, but I'm not exactly sure. And then five, we can see on her right hip, she's wearing some sort of, I don't know. To me, when I first saw it, it looked like Alex's stopwatch, but I don't think that that's what it is. So I don't actually know what that is. But basically, she has another miraculous thing there. And we can't see her left hand, so we can't tell if she's wearing anything there, but my guess is she is. Now, here's what I think is going on. Right before she takes off the Mouse Miraculous, my guess is she used its power, and that's power was to create a version of herself. Now, I don't know how this is going to work as far as if she takes off the Miraculous, is herself that she created still going to be there? Probably. So, my guess is she created a version, of, like a duplicate of herself, and then she deactivated the Mouse Miraculous. Now, what is she going to do with this other version of herself? Well, my guess is that she is going to be giving some of the Miraculouses that she, like, gathered from Master Fu to the duplicate slash duplicates of herself. So I think that there's going to be one Marinette with possibly the Horse Miraculous, and then another with possibly Viperion's Miraculous, etc. That's what I think is going to happen. Now, I can't, like, directly say, yeah, this is what's going to happen, but that's just the best guess, and that's probably what you can expect, because this show, like, when you see enough, then you kind of can guess what's going on. So, yeah, that is my complete guess as to what's going to happen. Marinette's going to take a bunch of Miraculous to the rooftops or wherever, and then she's going to create duplicates of herself to give the Miraculouses to... And then she's just going to have this giant army of ladybugs to go and attack Kwame Buster. And honestly, this is just what they should do with Hawkmoth to storm him. Just, like, make duplicates of Ladybug. Because clearly she's, like, the best one. Like, Kanoar doesn't do anything. So, like, she might as well just create a bunch of herself and then just charge, at, like, Hawkmoth. 
that seems like the most logical option to me but uh, what do i know so basically that's what we have for this promo and that's pretty cool because we basically have the episode figured out now being honest here i think that they could have done a little bit specifically if they had taken away the shot where we saw marinette and ladybug i feel like that would have taken away a lot of what i gathered from this promo simply because i wouldn't have known what the multi mouse miraculous does and that would basically that the whole idea of marinette uh, getting extra miraculouses because she was creating duplicates that's the whole backbone to this idea so that's what I that's truly what I think is going to happen here. But overall, this promo was short, but it had a lot of information in it. And I'm just really excited to see exactly what goes on in this episode. I think that there's a point to where we don't need to see that much and it starts to get like pretty spoilery and like less of a promo. And I think that this is crossing that border a little bit. But overall, I'm pretty excited for this episode. It's going to be really good. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. I plan on making videos whenever we hear news about Miraculous Ladybug, so you can go ahead and subscribe if you want to stay updated on all of the news. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.